hello and welcome back to another video. If you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Your support means a lot to us and it goes a long way. The festive period is almost over as it's the year 2022. It was quite a challenging year for us here on our homestead. We faced extremely dry winter and summer, very hot months when growing our food proved to be quite a task and we experienced our worst nightmare when the fires came in August and swept through our land destroying the whole valley. Thanks to our friends our house and animals were spared. However, our souls were traumatized and it took us some time to feel ourselves again. It also made us realize and reevaluate even more what is important and what we want from life. It's a beautiful day today. It's uh, I think well yeah, it's 27th of December and it's unseasonably warm and very mild. Reminds me of um, March, maybe end of March. Very warm today. There's no wind, not even a slight breeze. So I thought, well, just um, use the day up and um, start pruning trees. So I am going to start with the almonds we have planted here um, two winters ago. Um, they have already buds, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I'm just hoping we're not going to get late frost, um, you know, because that would not be good. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. We can't do really much about that. Saying that, it was also a great year. Susanna found a job she can do remotely from the comfort of our home and I have had the chance to exhibit my paintings three times this year as a member of an art collective called Other Worlds. Susanna's sister and her family visited us for the first time in March. It was great to show them what we are doing here. I think we tend to forget how much we have done and how far we have come since moving to Portugal. It's always a good opportunity to remind ourselves when someone new comes. In May we started our YouTube channel, which seems to be growing steadily. I would like to thank all of our subscribers for their support, likes and comments. Whenever it's possible we take the goats out for pasture, but um, we have to keep them on a rope. Um, if you know goats, if you have some, then you well know that if you let them uh, loose, they will destroy everything, literally every tree. No matter how many or how much grass there is, they will go for trees. We still have plenty of vegetables, they're still growing. Uh, fennel, believe it or not, uh, we have like three big bulbs of fennel. Um, yellow beetroot, green beetroot, uh, um, some carrots still in the ground, spinach and all the leaf vegetables like cabbages and chards. They are doing very well, That's, you know, this is the season they love the most. Um, there's plenty of water, quite warm, so they're still growing nicely. So I think I'll pick some um, soft leaves and um, maybe a fennel and do some nice fresh salad because um, I think after the Christmas indulgence uh, we need something much lighter. I have something for humans on the left hand side, this is for us. 
for today's lunch and something for the chickens for the animals as well um, and ducks We give them cabbage leaves every day throughout the winter because there's not much they can forage for at the moment where they are and they love it. Although we have grown plenty of vegetables for our own use last year, I really like the idea of being as self-sufficient as possible when it comes to our food. It takes a lot of effort, trials and errors as well, but it is so much worth it. There is no better taste than when you grow your own without pesticides, herbicides and all those chemicals. I still remember the taste of carrots when I was young and used to help myself to a fresh carrot from my grandmother's garden. The scent of freshly pulled carrots is something I will remember till the end of my days. And I am fortunate enough to be able to grow it myself now and be reminded of what truly is important in life. We have plenty of projects planned for the upcoming year, such as a new chicken run, a tax house needs upgrading as well, because two ducks are currently sitting on eggs and the flock will be expanding soon. Fence maintenance is also a must as well as growing area and new cover for polytunnel. We are planning to grow grains for animals and for us also. In the coming weeks it will be mainly about preparing our garden, starting seedlings and ordering more new and heritage seeds for us to try this year. Какие пуски мои мамы? Ну, заметка. Planting trees, pruning the vineyard and orchard is another big project which usually takes a few weeks of our lives every year.
we would like to wish you all a happy new year 2023 filled with love gratitude and prosperity be healthy and create your own paradise wherever you are remember if you set your intentions with heart everything is possible much love from all of us here in central portugal and until next time